opening the site A O D U back towards the position of site B, listen to the beep tone until the best signal is reached. When powered on both sites, the ODU will start beeping according to the antenna alignment status. One beep and a long pause is no air link. One beep and pause means no change in signal. Two beeps and a pause means signal quality increased. Three beeps and a pause, it means it is the best signal so far. Secure the Site A ODU to the mast or wall. Repeat the same process at Site B and secure the ODU to the mast or wall. Once the hardware installation process is completed, connect the PC with IDU's LAN port and ensure that local area connection of the PC is up. Double-click the Radwin Manager icon and a login screen will pop up. Select the user type and enter the IP address of the target radio. Use the factory default IP address which is 10.0.0.120. Then key in the password. The default password is admin. If the IP address is not known, select local connection in the IP address field by directly connecting management computer to the IDU. Don't use local connection option if connecting over the network. To ensure the proper connectivity between ODU and IDU, it is recommended to check ODU IP is pinging continuously. It is important that the IP address of the management PC and the ODU are of the same subnet. After login, verify that RSS level on main screen is according to link budgeting. Do the fine-tuning and alignment with the help of Radwin Manager if required. Link Installation Use Link Installation Wizard and activate desired services. Click on the Link Installation tab in the window which will open the Link Installation Welcome Wizard. The lower part of the window shows the quality of the link. If the quality cursor is in red area, it means no service. Yellow means only Ethernet service can be accessed. Green area shows both Ethernet and TDM can be used. Click Next. System Parameters window will open. Write a unique SSID of minimum 8 characters for each link. No two links should have a common SSID. Write the link name and the location for both sites. In case user want to change link password, click on change. Write the old password wireless dash bridge and new password and click OK and click next. Channel settings window will open. Select the installation frequency from the installation channel box. Click next. Transmission power and antenna parameters window will open. Both antennas will show unidentified status. Click configure and select antenna type single or dual and click yes. Repeat the process for site B antenna. In case of dual antenna option, select MIMO and for heavy interference, select diversity mode. The throughput in this mode becomes half. Click Next. The Hub Site Synchronization HSS Settings window will open. The Synchronization Status dialog box displays in the current status of each side of the link. If HSS is not required, click Next. For configuring co-located links, click the enabled checkbox and click on Configure Radio button. A HSS configuration window will open. Select the Type Unit configuration from the drop-down list and choose HubSync Master or HubSync Client. Then click OK. In the Synchronization Status dialog box, 
External pulses will display generating click next. Services window will open. In case of Ethernet, only service select asymmetric ratio as per up or downstream usages or use 50 to 50 so that it will change automatically as required and click next. If Ethernet plus TDM service is required, click configure radio button. The TDM services dialog is displayed. Using the TDM type radio buttons, choose E1. Use the spin button to choose consecutive service ports. Select maximum button to choose all available ports. Then click OK. You are returned to the services window. Click evaluate to continue or click the TDM jitter buffer tab to set the TDM jitter buffer. To improve TDM quality under interference, you may increase TDM jitter buffer size per site. Click Evaluate and then click Next. The TDM clock parameters window will open and click Finish. Installation summary and exit window will appear. Click Done to return to the main window. The main window now reflects the installation as Link Active. Here, the installation process is completed. Now let's review the key points. This product empowers carriers with the ability to connect subscribers anytime, anywhere. ODU and IDU are its two key components. It is extremely easy to install and maintain. It provides native TDM and Ethernet over a single wireless link. It is up to 200 Mbps full net throughput. It supports advanced MIMO and OFDM technologies. It has inbuilt spectrum analyzer. The installation engineer's toolbox should be rightly equipped. Outdoor units and antennas should be installed only by experienced installation professionals. Login through latest version of Radwin Manager for link installation. For any doubts and clarifications, feel free to call your Radwin contact. We hope you enjoy a good network experience with Radwin 2000.